Hello everyone, it's Sheila back again. Welcome to my channel. You know, it's only three o'clock and it's so dark. I put my standard lamp on, but um, I don't think it's bright enough. I'm going to have to put my living room light on. I can't see very well on the, the screen, actually. It's not showing up much. So, why isn't it being down what I'm doing there? Ugh, put the light on. That's a bit better. I've got my heated blanket on my knee too. I don't put my central heating on until after tea. Just putting the, the heat up on it. And I was sitting knitting a bit of this. Well, I have been doing a bit of this one earlier on. But I haven't done very much. Because I have been very busy today. I was knitting that one before, but, you know, I've got it on here, but... I'm putting that down for now because there's no way I can knit that and talk at the same time. <laughs> Put that over there. Um, this is a little message about, this is my latest pattern. This is the, the 16 to 26 inch button up basket stitch jackets, cardigans and hats. Um, I'm happy with this one that I've only sold 18 up to now. Because there have been one or two mistakes in it that I didn't go through it thoroughly enough. And because some of the mistakes, well one of the mistakes was actually on the sleeves. Where I told you to um, increase. But I didn't tell you how many stitches to increase up to. And one or two other little things. So I did go through it after I first printed it. But I missed those going through myself. I thought it was better just to send out some new patterns because um, you would have to alter things on the um, the pattern. I altered one or two other things on it as well. So I've sent out, there's 18 all together. I have a, a, a list of who I've sent them to. And the PDFs, I've changed the PDFs for anyone who had got the PDFs off me. And they started off, these are the people who, I'll just tell you that... Um, the name, the first name of the um, the people that um, bought them. So I thought it was better just to replace the um, the patterns. It's a little bit lost to me. It means I didn't get much profit out of them because I've had to put another stamp on the envelope, and I only get about around about a pound when I do sell them. By the time um, Etsy or AB takes their bit out, and then I have to pay for the um, the paper for the pattern, the ink and the the packaging that they're going to and the stamp. So I, I, you only get about a pound. So I'll probably, with the mistake I made, which is my, my own fault, I've probably had about 10 pence off each of those patterns. <laughs> but I'm telling you, this, um, I sent two to Samantha. It's under, I don't know whether it's a husband or a... Thing you name it under, under the name of Alan. One was bought by Alan and one today. I had an order today from Samantha so I've sent two out to you Samantha and there's a, a lady called Audrey. I've sent one out to you. Audrey in West Lothian and Jean Ann I sent one out to you. I could have sent that out in another letter. I sent one out the other day to you and I could have had the same one but I didn't realise until after I had posted it. And then one to Susan up in Scotland and I sent one to Veronica who lives in Spain. And on the other side there was Patricia from Kent. I don't know whether these are all subscribers a lot of them i do recognize the names um i think a lot of them are subscribers but they are on ab or etsy so 
so they not may not all be subscribers but if these subscribers are watching they'll know anyway and there's a ms i think it's margaret that lives in motherwell and lorraine lives in bucky tracy in berry hill in durham and christine in macclesfield in cheshire in janet who lives maidenhead berkshire these are all people i've sent out the, um, the pattern because they've all bought them and um i know they're going to be a bit confused with the pattern in <laughs> jennifer ann who lives in Aberdeen. she lives i think it's welsh Rhonda sign on sign on tough and rebecca who lives in daventry in northamptonshire And there was Mrs. Cookson, who lives in Macclesfield. I wonder if she's any relation to Catherine. <laughs> you know that famous writer. And there's Pamela in Sunderland. Karen in Londonderry. Elizabeth in Canterbury. And Mary Lou in Kent. Mary Lou was the one that gave me, I think, all three mistakes that were in that pattern so if anyone else has knitted them they mustn't have got up to the sleeves yet because this is nothing to tell you how many inch, how many stitches you have to um, increase the sleeves up to and I did alter a little bit on the start of the sleeves because um, instead of telling you to increase on the third row I've changed it to the fifth row so I've just wrote the, the first four rows of the pattern down instead of something that I had written down, which I understand because I know what I'm talking about. But somebody else reading it might probably not understand because I did mention it to Derek and he said he had a little bit of trouble working something out. So I think it was probably that bit. So I changed that anyway. So they, those are all the people who have bought my patterns. So I'm glad it wasn't any more than 18 when I posted them all today. They're all on their way to you, the new patterns. So if you're in the middle of knitting, knitting it, you've got a spare pattern there for the right things on, except it's not all complete. I'm going to have to check these patterns a bit more before I send them up. But I think this one, there was that many people asking me for it. I think I did it in a hurry instead of just taking my time like I normally do. But if anybody finds any mistakes on any patterns, even the smallest thing, don't be frightened to tell me because I will not be offended. Because people telling me things like that tells me if something is wrong, I can put the pattern right because I don't want patterns to go out that there's faults on that. Um, someone, you know, people might not realise they knew knitters and having trouble understanding uh, something because I've made something wrong on the um, the pattern, thinking it's them that's wrong. It's not them, it's it's me that's made a mistake on the pattern. But you don't realise writing these patterns out, I go Google-eyed sometimes, trying to write these patterns out, sitting in front of my computer and everything is going, you know, like this eventually. <laughs> so that's all I've done today. I've had to go through all my accounts on um, AB and Etsy to find everybody that had bought that pattern. I've had to write all the names and addresses down and then sort all the patterns. I've had to print out a lot more patterns and then sort them all out, put them into the little cellophane packets I put them into and then into the envelopes and writing all the envelopes out. And I was two stamps short, so I had to go to the post office anyway because of the one for the um for veronica in spain because that one has to go through the post office i can't just put that in the um the post box because it costs a little bit more i think it costs instead of 75 pence it costs two pound 20 for a, a one to go in another country <laughs> so i had to go over to the post office with that one so i walked over with the whole lot and bought the um the couple of extra stamps that i needed to put on and bought a lot more stamps because i've used all my stamps now so I had to buy some more stamps for any any more orders that, that I get. So that's that little one sorted. And I have been through all my emails, all my PDFs, and I think I found everybody. 
who got a PDF of me. But I sent the PDF out before I changed a little bit on the sleeve increasing at the start. So I'm not going to send another one out to anyone who's got that. Instead of increasing on the third row, do it on the fifth row and then you'll have done the first four rows of the pattern and then you won't need to bother about that little bit jumbled bit I've written out. Which like I'm saying, I can understand no bother, that's the way my mind works, but other people might not understand it. And it's just been a rotten, dark, miserable day to day. It's, well, it's getting on for half three now, so it's going to be starting to get dark anyway, but... Anyway, I was going to go to my sister-in-law's today, who, whose husband's funeral I was at the other day. Couldn't get an answer, and... <laughs> I rang, and that I was going to go to see if she wanted any help, anything doing in her house, any shopping and all that, but... Because it looks like I've been designated to uh, to do the... I'm the only woman, apart from that widow who's left out of all our husbands, the four brothers. The other wives are dead anyway, so... I was designated from the funeral for the go and help. You know, I think people don't realise. There's not much difference between my age and that lady who's just become a widow. And all the younger ones want me to go and do all the work for them. I said I would go once a week and I'll do what I can when I'm there, but that's all I'm doing. There's some of the rest of the family can go around and do what needs to be doing. Because she can't get about very much, me with the, um, my sister-in-law. She has a lot of trouble. She has to go with one of those walker things all around the house and... So she can't do what she used to do when she was younger. But anyway, I'm going to do a little bit of this while I'm talking. Then I'm going to do a bit of the blanket because I haven't done any of that today. So I'll do a little bit on the blanket until um, tea time. And once I finish the blanket, then I finish this cardigan. Um, I have got the back and one of the sides done that's the back and one of the sides and I'm onto the other the other side so I'll be able to get that finished and get that sent off to the United States with the other two cardigans that I have for a daggery and she should get them in time for Christmas I think uh, and then after that after I finish the blanket I have Three little cardigans left to do for my old next door neighbour's mother who lives in Wales. But I don't have to send them down to Wales, I take them down to her daughter because they're for her, her great grandkids who live up here. So I'm going to get those finished because I think those I wanted for Christmas as well. I've done one of the little sets but I have another three to do. And I put those on hold until I got these, wanted to get these ones finished for Daggery in the United States and that blanket done for um, for Jean. And then after that, I am not doing no more orders for anybody. I'm going to knit what I want to knit, crochet what I want to crochet, do something for myself. So I have got a lot of wool upstairs in my stock room upstairs that I'm keeping for myself and I'm going to start knitting things for myself instead so that's my little bit for today so thumbs up and subscribe and I'll catch you all another time so bye for now